blessed me. Think of the blessings of the Lord. He keeps on blessing me over and over again. When I didn't even deserve it, he blessed me. He kept me. He woke me up this morning and started me on my way. He's worthy to be praised. Somebody ought to praise the Lord this morning because he woke you up and started you on your way. Amen, amen, amen. Let us stand together and go to the throne of grace. Merciful Father, it's once more we stand before you, understanding that you have kept us through all the days of our lives, that you've been there for us, and that you will be with us to the very end. Father, we thank you for grace and mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your son. For that right to the tree of life, Father. We thank you, Father, for that gift of life that you've given to us. Father, we thank you for just another day. Father, as I look out and I see the sunshine. Earlier I heard the rain. But I know that you're in charge when there's sunshine and when there's rain. No matter what comes my way, that you are still in charge. So I'm going to put my trust in you. That whatever comes my way, I can lean and depend on you. Father, as we're praying now, Father, we pray for those who are bereaved right now. For those who are going through the things of this life, Father. And especially for those who don't know you in the forgiveness of sin. Father, we pray right now that someone would 
be that torchbearer for you. Yeah. That light that would shine so brightly that they would say, what must I do yes, to be saved, Father? Yes, Father, we pray right now for those who are in authority over us. Yes, Jesus. That you would give them wisdom. Yes. That you would speak to their hearts, Father. Amen. And that they would turn to you and do the things that you would lead them into. Father, as we go into this service, we pray that you would go from heart to heart and breath to breath. That you would enlighten us. Have turned the spotlight on us, Father. That we might be better. That we might be that light that reflects your light, Father that the world might see you in us, Father. Be with us now, Father. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray and ask it all. Amen, amen, amen. The choir is gonna come with a selection. Our secretary will come with the announcements, another song, and then we'll come back with a word. Glad to be in the service one more time. Glad to be in the service. Glad to be in the service. 
Lord, to be the same. Glad to be the same. Glad to be the same. Glad to be the same. One more time. One more time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do we have any visitors here with us today? If so, would you please stand? All right. And that's Minister Thorpe, right? Minister Thorpe, okay. Okay, on behalf of Reverend Wayne Johnson and the Salon Missionary Baptist Church family, we extend a heartfelt welcome to you, and we do hope you come back and worship with us again. Let us continue to keep the family of Miss Aula Bass in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, Janie's daughter called me this morning and said that our her, Janie's husband, had taken a turn for the worst, and he's in intensive care on a breathing tube, so they have been going through, so please keep the family in your, in your prayers. Uh, please keep the sick and shut-in members in your prayers. Uh, I think Magdalene Downey is at home. Uh, Purvis Downey is still in Duke Regional. Uh, Hilda Blackwell spent a few days at Duke, Big Duke, but she's home now. Uh, so please keep the sick and shut in in your prayers also. Uh, the Voices of Salon will practice today immediately after service. And also the Usher Board will practice, uh, not practice, but we'll have a meeting today in the Fellowship Hall uh, immediately after service. And this is from President Jacqueline Lyons. Tomorrow we will be doing a deep cleaning of the church and anyone interested in helping, please be here by 10 o'clock. And you can bring your own cleaning supplies, but if you need cleaning supplies, you can see me or Charles Waller, and we will try to get what you need to clean with. Bible study is held each Wednesday at 12 noon. Zoom Bible study is held every other Wednesday night at 7 p.m. The next one is scheduled for Wednesday, August 11th. For those of you who don't attend Sunday school, Sunday school, you can find still find the lessons on the Salon website and also on YouTube. So if you don't make it to Sunday school, these lessons are still out there on the on the Salon website and on YouTube. Don't forget to drop your tithes and offerings off in the vestibule as you leave today. And if you will, would like to pay your tithes and offerings via credit card, you may do so immediately after service. Just come to the office in the back. Do we have anyone celebrating a birthday or anniversary from last Monday through today? If so, would you please stand? July 29th. July 29th, and that was birthday? Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Birthday song? We pray that you are blessed with happiness and good health. Our thought for today is, do you spend your time with God's book or on Facebook? This will conclude the announcements for this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much, my sister, for those announcements. On behalf of the Bath family, We'd like to thank you all who came out for the home going of Sister Aula yesterday. They were very appreciative of Salome and uh, 
They just wanted to, I wanted you to know that they love um, the things that went on here and we should keep them in our prayers. Amen. Go ahead and let them in. The choir is going to come with another selection. And uh, you can find the scripture in 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter 2, 1 through 3. 2 Peter chapter 2, 1 through 3. We'll come back with the scripture and the word. Johnny did this one last first Sunday. He gonna let me take a turn at it today. The title of the song is I Can Tell the World About This. I can tell the world about this. I've been blessed. Tell them, tell them what that my Savior has done. Tell them that the Comforter has won. But he brought joy, so much joy. To my soul, yeah, to my soul. Oh, yeah, unto my soul, yeah. 
and true say I had a whole choir back behind me. <laughs> he said, where two or three are gathered, <laughs> I'll be in the midst. So you don't need a whole army if you got God with you. Just walk on out there with what God has said. Amen, amen. Though the who are able to stand, let us stand if we hear the words from the scripture. Second Peter. Chapter 2, 1 through 3. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who pr privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with fringe words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Father, it's time to bring your word before your people. Remove Wayne out of the way. Fill this vessel one more time that I might speak truth. That it might find good ground in your people. And we might be better citizens of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning, I wanted to speak on this topic because of some of the things I've seen in recent news items and in what's going on in the world. Peter here was writing to the people and he wanted them to be aware, just as I would want you to be aware that there are going to be those out there who don't really want you to prosper. For a subject I, I chosen, know the word. But then I wanted to add something to that. Said, know the word for yourself. Here, Peter is telling them that even in times past, there have been false prophets. And in this world we live in today, there's a lot of confusion between the religious body of Christ over who's right and who's wrong, who's speaking truth and who's speaking falsehoods. And today's society has gotten to where politics is just as much a religion as Christianity. And a lot of these people have started mixing them in together. So you don't know what is really religion or what's politics. And what struck, st stuck in my mind this week was I heard a mega church preacher say that if anybody came in his church with a mask on, he was going to tell them to leave. Now, this is a mega church. 10, 20,000, whatever. With a, a virus around, and you're going to tell people you can't wear a mask? Now, they have made it a political thing to wear a mask. They want to say, some have said, oh, you're offending God because you are in the image of God and you're covering God's face. No. 
But none of y'all are God now. I'm telling you that now. We, we may try to take on the attributes of God. We might live the best life we try to live, but we all fall short of the glory of God. And we can only be a reflection of him. And if we look at this word, he says that these false teachers will bring in damnable heresies, false teachings, having people do things that's not required of God. And we see that today. In that one instance where they make it as if it's an addition to the law. We're gonna add something on to what God said. Who are you to think that you can get between me and God and tell me I can't wear a mask? When I know that the scripture tells us that in this last and evil days, there are gonna be plagues, there's gonna be famine, there's gonna be earthquakes, and if we watch the news, we see California on fire, we see flooding, we see all of the earthquakes, all these things are happening now, and what we need to do is to get right with God so that when the worst happens, we can depend on him. But see, too many of our false teachers want people to depend on them. They want you to come to pastor every time you got an issue. I, I don't want you to come to me every time you got an issue. I, I will pray for you, but I'm gonna take it to God and I want you to, to take it to God. Because if we go together, you may get an answer. But some of these people are so dependent on these teachers, pastors, and leaders that they can't even go to the bathroom unless they ask permission. He says that they're going to get to the point where they're going to even deny the Lord. Think about that now. A Christian church where it's not even based on Christ. We've got it today. We've got a whole lot of things going on in so-called churches that have nothing to do with Christ. And we uphold it because that's what we have been doing. Sometimes I wonder whether when we closed the church did we learn anything? Did we learn that we didn't have to sit inside four walls? That we carry the church on the inside of us? That when we speak, we speak, we ought to speak the words of God? We ought to be about loving, about sharing, about caring for those who can't care for themselves? But no, as soon as it looks like a problem is over, we turn back to do the things we are so comfortable in doing. You know, sometimes you be speaking and things come to your mind. And I just heard, you remember those children of Israel had gotten out there with Moses and they said, we should have stayed in Egypt. Well, we could have had some pomegranates and some fruit. Yeah, but y'all didn't remember, y'all were making bricks without straw. You had a heavy taskmaster. See, we sometimes forget the hard things we go through. And think about it now. Most of the time, the things we go through are because of what we've done. Think about it. We've caused a whole lot of hurt to ourselves. And then we want to say, why God do that? Wake up. If you had been doing what God would want you to do, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in. Amen. Amen. Stop blaming God for your mistakes. Amen. Go to him and admit I messed up. And he's faithful and just to forgive you. Amen. You know, we studied Jeremiah in Sunday school this morning. And it just shows me that a lot of people just don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear they're wrong. 
And when someone stands up and starts pointing out the wrong, then they're gonna say, well, that's an enemy. Maybe he's speaking up to bring you in back into right fellowship with God. Amen. If I come to you and say, sister or brother, that's wrong. We need to consider what you're doing. What is God speaking to you? But see, most of the time you can't get that far. All they're gonna hear is you're wrong and things gonna lock down. They're not gonna hear anything else you got to say. So you've got to get to a place where you're wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. You gotta say, my brother and my sister, we need to share something together. Come on, let me have a meal with you. And we need to go and talk about God and what God wants from you today. It's ways that we approach people that will either turn them on or turn them off. But you've got to know the word for yourself. You, got, you can't be around here just hearing bits and pieces of the word. That's one of the major problems we have right now. Too many people in this world think that they can get by because we live in a democracy. And I have my rights. I have a right to do this, I have a right to do that. Well, you best get ready. Because when God comes back, there is no democracy. It's a theocracy where he is God all by himself. And what he says goes. It's not about what you want. It's about what God wants. And that's what we should be doing each and every day of our lives when we go to God. What would you have me to do to bring you glory? What do I need to do? What do I need to say that would bring somebody back to you? And if I do it, I've got to realize just like Jeremiah, you're gonna have people who are gonna turn on you, who are gonna hate your guts because you stand for right. We got to get to this place where we understand everything is not all right. There's too much going on in the world right now that we just turn a blind eye to. I didn't see it. That's because you ain't trying to see it. Amen. But see, think about when Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah. It says that his heart was basically sickened from everything he saw. And God heard it. And that's when God answered because of the wickedness of this country and all countries in the world. Those who are righteous are mourning because they know that's not what God wants. And God is gonna answer one day and say time is over. It's time, time out, go sit in your corner. Because people won't listen. But you got to know the word for yourself. Yes. Amen. See, in knowing the word, you know what Jesus said about loving one another. Amen. He started with loving one another. That's yeah. believers. Yeah. But he also spoke about loving those outside of the fellowship. Yeah. We're not supposed to hate anyone. Yeah. We're supposed to show the love of Christ to those who despitefully use us. Yeah. Think about that now. If I'm supposed to be walking in the image of Christ, it's supposed to be about love. Those who talk about me, I love you. Yeah. Those who hate me, I love you. Those who look at me and say, he must be crazy. Amen. I love you. Yeah. And when we get to that place, we can walk like Jesus. When he walked through the streets, he 
met opposition, but he knew the word for himself. He was the word wrapped in flesh. And that's what we should be. We should meditate on his word day and night so that when we come into opposition, we can look at what God has already done. I think that was one of the points to look at what he's written down so that we know that it's already happened before to somebody else so that we won't make the mistakes that others have made. You know, if you read some of these stories, you see where you say, mm -mm, I wouldn't have done that. Or maybe I would have done a little different. But see, that's why he gave you the word. So that you would know beforehand how to act when something comes against you. Can you imagine even like the prophet Jeremiah this morning? When he came to the people, he said, the Lord says, if you would turn, he'd forgive you. Amen. They didn't hear the if. They just heard the condemnation. And that's the thing. If you're trying to reach somebody, you got to make sure they hear the if. If my people would you call by my name? would humble themselves, pray and seek my face. Then I'll hear from heaven, heal their land. If, if you just listen, if you just obey, if you just knew the word for yourself, then you won't have to worry about these false prophets and false teachers. You see, because he says in this word that they will use you, make merchandise of you. In modern day, they're gonna pimp you out. They're gonna use you to get the advantage. And we wonder how some of these churches have all the things they have. Somebody's being fooled. You know, I'm not against having a large treasury because I don't deal with the money. Amen. I don't want to even know what's in the bank account. Amen. But I need, to, I need the people who are in charge to make sure that the work of God goes forward Amen. and that we're doing what God would have us to do. Amen. Do you know him for yourself? Do you know this word? for yourself. In one of the scriptures, verse 12 of chapter 1, Paul says, um, wherefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them and be established in the truth. Yeah, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. We need to remember. Sometimes we just go ahead and we forget things. But we need to remember what God has done for us. Amen. Remember the price that he paid for us. Amen. And what he expects of us. He expects us to be like his son. Because when he comes back, can you imagine? He comes looking for his children. That's right. Who are you going to look like? He cracks the sky and says, mm, I want a mine. I want a mine. Uh uh. No, that ain't one of mine over there. He, he ain't done nothing I told him to do. That one looks like me. We need to look more like Jesus and how we treat one another how we treat our enemies you think Jesus was not a feeble man he was a man and he took whatever they threw at him he was prepared 
And we need to be prepared. We need to know for ourselves. Because in this life, there's always somebody who's got the spirit of the other father looking for an easy way out to take advantage of someone. Know the word for yourself. Study this word. Thank God for this word. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day and for all your many blessings. We pray that this word finds good ground in your people, that they look beyond the preachers and teachers and see you and put their hope in you because man can't save them, but you can. Touch them, oh God. Give them what they need in this hour. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Choir is going to give us one, give us another selection. Do we have you down for another selection? Amen, amen. These men sound so good up here. We ought to give us a mini concert, but we're not going to put that on to the day. No, no, amen. What? What? Have you heard the news that Jesus is coming soon? Have you heard the news Jesus is coming soon? Have y'all heard the news Jesus is coming soon? Jesus coming soon. You better get ready. You better get ready. Jesus coming soon. Have you heard the news? Jesus coming soon. Have you heard the news that Jesus is coming soon? Have you heard the good news that Jesus is coming soon? You better get ready. Jesus is coming soon. He's a coming as a thief and a robber by night. You know what you gotta do. You better get ready. Get your, get your soul right. You know what? He's coming on a cloud. It may be night or noon. You better get ready. You better get ready. Coming soon. Have y'all heard the news that Jesus is coming soon? Have you heard the good news that uh, Jesus is coming soon? Have you heard the news that Jesus is coming soon? You better get ready. You better get ready. Jesus is coming soon. Wait a minute. Catch you with, with your work undone. He's coming on a cloud. It may be night or noon. You better get ready. You better get ready. Jesus is coming soon. Have y'all heard the news that Jesus is coming soon? Have you heard the news that Jesus is coming soon? Jesus coming soon. You better get ready. 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 Jesus coming soon. Well, get ready. 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 You better get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, you better get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, you better get 
Get ready. 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 Get